today, human Latios Saeed. So this is Latios Azuro, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sun Island Mock. Here we are at Route 2 at the Melly Melly Island Motel. So let's go see if we can find Annabelle and Looker as we continue with our missions here. Hey there. Thank you for joining us, Eric. Mr. Looker has already set out to gather more information about the UV. I have been waiting here on standby. I expect we'll have another visitor soon. A visitor? A mysterious person who claims to have some knowledge of the UV. He insisted he would not share any more details with me until we met in person. But if he does have any real insight into the UV, then we cannot let this opportunity pass us by. So I think it is best that you and I wait to take any further action now, and that we trust Mr. Looker to handle the field work. Though I do feel bad asking him to do all the work for us. I must applaud Mr. Loker for that remarkable energy of his. He is in a class of his own, even within the elite members of the International Police. I would never have expected someone like him to serve under my command. Hmm, cool. Mr. Looker, I guess, does have a sense of, um... Well, doing well. Don't mind if I let myself in. You are. Hey, look, it's Nanu. How you been doing? You're well? M Mr. Nanu, my, it really has been a long time, but why in the world are you... I'm your contact. You want to know about that monster, right? Monster? So you were the one who reached out to us? I forgot about this Kahuna meeting we were all supposed to go to. That's how I ended up stuck as the messenger. And here you are, boy. You're acquainted with Eric. Guess you could say that. And do you have some information for us about the UB that's incited on this island? Figured Hollow would have seen it. It's not like I've seen it or anything. Just heard rumors, you know? Yes, so then, could, you, could I trouble you to tell us what it is that you do know? What was it you guys were calling it? Absorption or something? Well, you'll find it in Melon Melon Meadow. Not just one of them either, two of the suckers. UBO2 Absorption, the relationship between the two. Wait, wait just a moment. How do you know our code names? That is highly classified information. <laughs> no one wants to hear about that. Good luck. Um, okay. Mr. Nanny was in fact the superior of mine when I first joined the International Police. I never dreamed that I would meet him once again under circumstances such as these. But if the information that he shared with us is correct, then there are multiple UBs this time. The situation is dangerous. If we don't act at once... Yes, one disaster! M Mr. Looker, in English if you would. I'm sorry, but please, this is no time to care about my odd habits. The UB sightings, I've got a hot tip. The perp really is right here on Melly Melly. It appears that it might be UB absorption. It seems to be a UB of great strength and formidable muscles. But that is not all. It is not one creature, but two in Melly Melly Meadow. So it appears that, the, that his information was correct. <clears throat> What's that? Did you say something just now, Chief? No, it's nothing. I understand, Mr. Looker. Then Mr. Looker, Mr. Eric, it looks like we have a job to do. My task will be to protect the populated areas. Eric, you will go to where the sightings were, um, was reported. Mr. Looker, you are to stay here and act as our backup once again, in case we should need it. Hold it right there. Not again. This time I insist that I... Please understand, Mr. Looker. You do not have a partner Pokemon with you. I cannot allow you to operate in a place where you are likely to encounter danger. And besides that, having such an experienced veteran as yourself serve as our backup is a vital task in an operation like this one. Understood, ma'am. Okay. Then I must be off. Eric, I wish you fortune in battle. Good luck out there, Chief. You take these, Eric. I received them from Madam Wick. Alright, we got ten more beast balls. Nice. I trust that you will be careful out there, my young, um, young Eric. And one last thing before you go. 
Madam Wick finished analyzing all the data to gather the knee Lego, aka UB Symbiont. If you wish to learn more about that creature, you should speak with Madam Wick in the Aether Paradise Secret Labs. Now it is time we get to work. And if I'm here, I'm here if you need anything. Alright, so we need to head to Melly Melly Meadow. So we could probably walk there, Tauros ride there, or fly there. I think the best option is just fly there. Let's go. So, we want to go find the UB02 Absorption. Not exactly sure what that is, but... Um... I'm guessing it's an Ultra Beast, obviously. And we're finding it right away. Cool, we have to find two of them, though. Okay, that thing is ripped. Alright, how are we going to take this thing down? Actually, it's defense rose. You know, we're probably not going to one-shot it then. I don't think we're going to one-shot it. It's a plus one defense. So let's, um... Let's, I don't know. Spirit Shackle. That seems like a safe enough play. That should do absolutely, positively nothing. Lunge! What the heck? You know what? I'm plucking at this thing. See what this does to it. Absolutely, positively nothing. Lunging again. Oliver, you can take a hit, right? No, Oliver can't take the hit. Wow. Beast boost. Gaining attack. Wow. This thing needs to be destroyed. Okay, you know what? I think... Maybe Air Slash? I don't know. And we've taken on two of these, too. Dynamic Punch and you're missing. Okay, that's good. You're not confusing me. Yeah, that's probably gonna kill, won't it? And it's dead. I keep killing these things. I keep killing them. Wow. All right, you know what? If level 65, the hint of it is still lingering. I'm gonna heal up Oliver. Do we have something that might do almost as much? We have fresh water, we have lemonade. I'll give you a lemonade and a uh, fresh water. Also, I think, you know what, let's... Do we have a, uh... Do we have a repel or something? I think, if that thing's level 65, we have a new strategy. New strategy. Alright, because we're not going to find anything stronger than Nebby and Melly Melly Meadow. So, here we go. And it's going to gain defense because... Because my life is, uh... Is sad. I don't know. That thing's too ripped for its own good. Alright. You know what? Let's see if we can get a flinch on it. If we can get this thing to flinch, we'll probably be in decent shape. Flinch, you thing! It's super effective. We're gonna avoid the hammer arm, because Nebby likes us. That's kinda nice. You're gonna avoid the attack, we're gonna avoid the crunch. You know what? That was a wasted turn. Flinch, you thing! Flinch! Lunge. Alright, we're gonna take it, but you're gonna... You're not gonna lower my attack. Okay, cool. Cool, let's use a beast ball. Since apparently that's what these are for. You're breaking out of the ball! I am starting to not like this thing. Okay, come on. Stay in the ball, you question mark, Ultra Beast. Absorption thing. What are you absorbing anyway? Stop absorbing things. It's not polite. You are not staying in, the, in these beast balls. How am I supposed to catch you if you're not staying in a beast ball? Ooh, super cash power! 
Well, critical capture, I'm sorry. You see, I'm playing shuffle and I'm accidentally calling them critical captures, and I'm playing this and I'm accidentally calling them super catch power. See how that happens? I'm playing too much shuffle. Well, still, critical capture. Same concept. Same concept. We caught it. Haven't had a critical capture in a while, though. Buzzwall's that is added to the Pokedex. Alright, so this thing's called Buzzwall. Interesting. So it's obviously a bug. So it's bug fighting. This Ultra Beast appeared from another world. It shows off its body, but whether that display is a, be is a um, boast or a threat remains unclear. The Swollen Pokemon. Alright. I'll name you, um, let's call you... Buzz, because... Because that's a name. Alright, go into the box. We have Buzz, alright. There's still one more we have to find. Alright, here it is. Alright, so yeah, definitely stock up on repels for this, I guess, because assuming that you're not, if you're not high, at a higher level than it, then I guess. But this is a way to easily find these, I guess. Unless, then again, with me, Lego, I think it was would have been a little more complicated because all of our Pokemon are, are, are over level 55. Okay, do I want to quick ball it or just... You know what? No, I don't want to take a hit from this thing. Last thing I need for this thing to get a beast boost. I'm going to Zen Headbutt on it. Maybe we can get a flinch. That's a crit. Alright, we're going to avoid the hammer No flinch, but we got the crit there. So now I think we're in perfect condi in a perfect shape to throw a beast ball at it. It's in the red zone. No critical capture. Oh my gosh, you don't want to be caught. Stop lunging at me! Is that thing like a buffed out cockroach or something? I can't even tell. Stay in the ball, you stupid absorption buzz wall thing. Good, finally. No, you're breaking out! What the heck? Alright, you know what? You know what? You're staying in this beast ball. This next ball is the last one I throw until I destroy you and then just catch you again because I have to catch you apparently. Stay in the ball! Stay in the ball. You stupid bug! Oh my goodness. Stay in the ball. You stupid buzz wall. Stay in the ball. Thank you! Alright. Wings are to level 64. Alright, we already caught one of these, so I don't see the name of it. point in nicknaming it. I could nickname it. Hmm. I already nicknamed one, though. I already named one. Um. I'm naming you Macho. Um. Macho. Bug. Alright, Macho Bug can go to the PC or something. Alright. Go to the box with you. To the box with you, Macho Bug. We completed the mission. Let's go find Mr. Looker. Alright. I think I'm just gonna go heal up just to be safe. The good thing is, they're giving us the Beast Balls, so it's not like we have to worry about buying Pokeballs for these. We could use Quick Balls and whatnot, but as I realized with Nini Lego, I'm not having luck with Quick Balls here, so... Why bother wasting the balls I have to pay for if Beast Balls aren't even that good on regular Pokemon? Okay, we are going to have to cut through the grit. Oh, great. Is that a Smeargle? It's probably a Smeargle. It's Smeargle, right? Definitely a Smeargle. No, it's a Young Goose. Okay. Alright. I am... A th you know what? I'm not even going to waste my time. I'm just going to run away from this chump. Alright. Alright. 
Okay. So now we can go find our motel. Too bad we can't just fly to the motel. That would be too convenient, I guess. Alright, here we are. Alright, mission complete. I finished the mission! Amazing! Bravo, you have done it! I must call the chief back at once. You go do that. Okay. We've completed the mission! Hooray! I finished sending the data um, from the UB protected to HQ, and to Miss Wick as well. Thank you for your hard work, Eric. With this data, I think we will be able to solve the mysteries regarding UB absorption, otherwise known as Buzzwall. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right. Ugh. What's the matter, Chief? What's wrong? I'm fine. I'm fine. There were just so many of them this time that I was nearly run off my feet. What? I'm fine, really. Please, don't stare at me like that. Y yes of course, ma'am. And you two must also be tired. What shall we do now? If you are terribly exhausted, there's only one natural conclusion to make. The one thing that takes away all weariness. It is, of course, a feast! This time, indeed, we must have a great feast to celebrate our successful mission. And there is a restaurant here on this island where we can eat to our stomach's content. I speak, of course, of the Battle Buffet. Oh, how curious. How is it that you are once again so familiar with the local restaurants? It's just by chance. The chanciest of chances, not the chanciest, mind you. Just chance. Never mind. Never you mind that. The most important fact right now is it is a very popular place. I will go at once to make a reservation. Mr. Looker is simply hopeless, isn't he? And Mr. Nanu, he was an excellent police officer years ago. He was on par with Mr. Looker ba even back then. I'm really only here in this position now because of him. Essie's in disaster! Oh, Mr. Looker, back so soon again? Could it be? Yes, it could indeed. It is in fact, Chief. I've gotten a tip about another UB sighting. This time it was on Akala Island. We must delay our feast once again. Roger that, Mr. Looker. Then we must hurry to Akala Island at once. Yes, ma'am. We will return to the motel we were formerly used as our base of Operation Akala. I hope you will join us there as soon as you're ready, Eric. Back to Akala. We are still counting on you, Eric. The motel Akala's Route 8. That is the place you must come. All right, back to Akala Island, because that's, you know, the way things are. All right, let's go back. All right, Charizard, let's go. Kind of funny how Charizard is a ride Pokemon, and there are no Charizards in, um, in this entire region. So it makes you kind of wonder, how does Ki how did Kiawe register us as Charizard if there are none in Alola? Kind of a weird thing to ponder. Oh, here you are at last, Eric. I've already been able to gather all the of the intel we need about the UBs this time. So the chief has already left to help secure the site and protect the surrounding areas. UB-03 Lightning! 100... Alright. Hello! This precious young lady here was my informant this time. They sent me here on an errand since I'm not busy doing trials or anything. Hmm? Who is that? It's a secret. Oh, and I had one more order I was given. Or was it a request? Either way! What might that be? I was told I should have a real serious battle with Eric before I came back. I don't really know why, but it seems like maybe it's some sort of trial of strength. So come on, let's have a battle. Have a Pokemon battle against me. Okay. Alright, then let's get going already. Time for Mina to show you her full power. We'll get our Z on! You know, it works out perfect because we're leading off with Nebby. That's actually perfect. 
So we are challenged by Captain Mina. Well, you know what? That's actually cool because, um, of course she's leading off Clefty. It's kind of cool considering we didn't actually have a trial from her. Alright, we are definitely not gonna- right, I guess Flare Blitz is the way to go. Reflect, of course. Of course you have the Prankster boost. So you're gonna get priority in there. They nerf Gale Wings, but they- I mean, they kind of nerf Prankster in the, um, in Sun and Moon, but not fully. Hmm. I'm gonna go in the Dazzle. Because... I don't feel like taking recoil damage. Alright, she's gonna go for a flash cannon. We can easily tank that. Easily. Alright. So now let's uh, flamethrower. She's probably gonna set up a light screen. There's the light screen. I'm not even surprised. She does have that priority. It's kind of unfortunate. That means we're gonna have to wait five moves until that actually goes to light. It's probably gonna be a two with KO with flamethrower. Unless she goes for a full restore. Probably for the best if she goes for a full restore, to be totally honest. She's not going to go for the full restore because it's not the flame guard. But now she has the dual screen up. Clef key is a, uh, is a problem. I'm not going to lie. All right. Next up is going to be Gramble. That's not going to be very fun, will it? I could go in the Nebby. Who can Sunsteel Strike? I'm gonna keep Dazzling. We can go for a Sludge Bomb. It's not gonna do very well, but I know you're gonna be intimidating me. I don't need Nevi Intimidated. So, let's Sludge Bomb. And, uh, we're gonna not do very much because of the light screen unless we crit. Is that a crit? No, it's not a crit. Okay, Earthquake. Dazzle, do you like me? If you like me, you'll live. If you don't like me, you'll go dead. Okay, I guess you don't like me enough. Alright, that's fine. That is fine. Reflect is gone, so Nebby can take that thing down unless... Hmm. Uh... I guess Nebby is probably the, uh... Least objectionable. I know, I know the thing has Earthquake and all, but still. In fact, the Reflect's gone. I can just Zen Head, but I don't need to use a Sunsteel Strike. We outspeed. And that thing is gone. Alright. Nebby is OP. Alright, Chase Crew to level 66. Next up is going to be Wigglytuff. No reason to switch. I can probably just Sunsteel Strike. The Reflect is gone. There's no reason to go into a Special Attacker at this point, so Chase is probably out until the Light Screen goes away. But Sunsteel Strike should be a, an easy one-hit KO on the Wigglytuff. Easily. It's stab, it's super effective, it's Solgaleo. Nothing's gone. Alright. Next, alright, the light screen's gone. Next up's gonna be Ribbon B. Hmm. Let's go into wings. Can we can we land a hurricane or do I just go for the air slash? I don't know why I went for hurricane, but you outsped us, so, you know, if we can land the, the hurricane, we're, we're gonna avoid it. Of course. Wings, can you live the Dazzling Gleam? Come on, come on. Oh my goodness, Wings, why couldn't you land a hurricane? That's just... Yeah, alright, you know what? Let's take down this Rip and B. I'm gonna go for a Drill Pack. We're not gonna outspeed, so I might as well have gone for Beak Blast, but... Whatever. Okay. Take this drill pack. Ruben B is actually really good. <laughs> Funny enough. Okay. Sam good level 67. Because I actually miss using luxury now. Hmm, it's a shame. Alright, next up is Shinotic. What exactly is Shinotic again? I can't even remember. I can't even remember. You know what? Chase, I'll let you do something. I don't know what this thing is, but I keep forgetting what this thing is. It is, oh, a mushroom. All right, well, 
I should switch to the ICMZ, seriously. I really should switch to the Ice Sea Crystal. But whatever. I guess Ice Deeming it. She's gonna Moonblast. Okay. We have enough special defense to live that, I think. I could go for the Twinkle Tackle to finish it off. You know, finishing her off with her own Z move, but honestly, this is easier. Just Ice Beam it. Okay, that was that wasn't bad. Nebby grew to level 66, and with that we defeated Captain Mina. Whoa, I'm shocked at your strength. And we got $7,320 for winning. Whoa, you're surprisingly strong. Then it's no problem. Turns out you're strong enough, Eric. It seems that my precious young miss here is not to be trifled with either. Okay, I'm out of here. Okay, see ya. She is rather odd, isn't she? A real individual spirit. But now we should get our heads on straight and get to work. I do not like it, but I am in charge of backup once again. And for you, Eric, the Beast Balls will, you will need for this mission. Alright, so we got ten more Beast Balls. Nice. First, the regular reports. Let us get them out of the way, my young friend. Madam Wick, finish analyzing all the data that we gathered in the last UB you caught. If you wish to learn more about that creature, you should speak with Madam Wick in the Aether Paradise Secret Labs. And now it is time we get to work. If you need to ask anything, I am here. How about where is the Ultra Beast? UB03, codename Lightning. Yes, I can tell you about it. It appears to be an Ultra Beast that can wield tremendous electric power, as its name implies. Sightings were made in two locations, Lush Jungle and Memorial Hill. Alright, Lush Jungle. That's right around here, actually. So, I'm just gonna head there. If it's not there, then I can head to Memorial Hill pretty easily, probably. Okay, I am just gonna fly right to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and then we'll head to Lush Jungle. So, see how, uh... Simply or not so simply, we can do this. First of all, I want to buy some more items and stuff. Oh, you're the first ever champion in Alola. Congratulations, thanks for coming here. It looks like your island challenge will continue even after you become a champion. We, the Pokemon staff, are happy to keep supporting your adventure. Cool. I want repels. Yes, I do. Um, let's buy a bunch because... That makes life easier, I guess. I don't know. We're here to heal up, though. So, that should work. Alright, well. We have an Ultra Beast to find. So, let's go to Lush Jungle. We are really close to it. I could walk there, but what's the point? When you can just, you know, fly. Why walk when you can fly? I mean, technically walking would not require this little cutscene, but the cutscene's a lot faster than just walking, and plus uses the pure repel steps and stuff. I don't know. Alright, here we are in Lush Jungle. We've been here before. The Trial of Mallow. Repellent wore off, that's fine. Let's find ourselves an Ultra Beast. If there is one here, maybe there isn't. Maybe it's a, maybe it's at Memorial Hill. I don't know. Maybe it's deeper in the uh, deeper in here. I don't know. Anything? You know what? Nebby's at level 66, maybe? Although if it's electric type, I don't think I'm gonna want wings out for it. If it's lightning, so I guess Dazzle. I guess it's level 65, then. Probably. I don't know. I don't know! Let's go find ourselves an Ultra Beast. Repellent War Off. Maybe it's not here. Is it not here? No, it's here. Alright, here we go. We found an Ultra Beast and... 
What is that? Whatever it is, it gains special attack. That's a Pokemon? That thing is a Pokemon? What the heck? Alright, take a sludge bomb, whatever you are. Alright, we poisoned it, which I have mixed feelings about. And Dazzle is so dead. There's dead and there's dead. Dazzle is, well, fainted. Alright, you're gonna take poison damage, so we are on a counter here. Let's go into... Hmm. Oliver resists electric, so Oliver it is. Let's go for a beast ball. You're poisoned. You're in the yellow zone. You're staying in this ball. I don't care what you say. You are staying in this ball. You weird looking creature. Okay, gotcha! This weird obscure thing is a uh is caught. Okay. Zerka trees that was out of the Pokedex. So I've seen many weird Pokemon in my day. That's all I have to say about this. One of the mysterious life forms known as Ultra Beast, astonishing electric shocks emanate from its entire body according to witnesses. This is a weird looking Pokemon. So I guess its uh, tail is like a, an outlet, well it's a, um, a plug for an outlet. So are its feet, although its feet seem to be two prong. And it has like random loose wires coming out of it. it. Doesn't seem to have a face. I'm guessing the top is a head. That is a weird looking Pokemon. Alright, let's give a nickname to this thing. Um. 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 I'm naming you Shocked. Because honestly, I'm shocked this is a Pokemon. Alright. Shocked can go to the box. Sure. Okay. Alright, we caught the There's still another one? Really? Really? Okay. You know what? Wings, I am so sorry, but this is, this is not going to be your day. You're about to take a discharge to the face, and you're not going to take it very well. Alright, we found another Zerka tree. Okay. Can Wings outspeed this thing? Huh. Alright, let's scald it. Oh no, we're not speeding. If Wings really likes us, maybe Wings will live, but... WINGS REALLY LIKES US! YES! Alright, take a Scald. You stupid looking tree thing. Can we get Burn? WE'RE GETTING THE BURN! GO INTO THE YELLOW! You're missing the yellow. Okay, well... I'm sorry, Wings, but... I gotta throw a Beast Ball now. I would switch into, um... Oliver, but... I'm not nice enough, clearly. I'm a horrible trainer. Do you want to live another hit? No? Okay, I'm sorry, Wings. But Wings, you did a very good job there. That thing's gaining the beast boost. That's... that's unfortunate. But now it's in the yellow zone, so now... Go into Oliver. Oliver can easily... Just sit there and take a discharge or two. I don't know. Let's go catch ourselves a circuit tree. Let's go. Stay in this ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in that ball. Okay. We got ourselves another Zerka tree because apparently Looker and Annabelle want us to catch a bunch of them. I don't know. Oliver, good job. Okay. So that's the second Zerka tree. I'm not going to bother naming it because we already have one. Alright, sending to the PC. I'm really catching it because we kind of have to. Alright, we completed the mission. Let's get back to Looker. Alright. Wings and Dazzle did their job, and they did it well. They might have fallen during said battles, but 
they definitely did pull through for us in the end. Even if their sacrifice was, um... No, their sacrifice wasn't in vain. We caught him. We caught both circuitries. And their hacks was miraculous. Not miraculous, more of just useful. I'll say convenient. Convenient hacks. We'll go with that. Alright. Put Nebby up front again just to be safe because Nebby can take a hit or two usually. I don't know. To the motel! Because the mission has been uh, completed. Hey there, Mr. Loker. What is it? Has something happened or do you need some information from me? Um, beast balls are incredibly valuable, poke valuable Pokeballs. I asked Miss Wick, no, Madam Wick, who works in the Secret Light Labs, and she said a single ball costs millions. It appears you still have some on you as well. Be very ca careful about using them. Um, alright, I finished the mission. Amazing, bravo, you've done it. I must call the chief back at once. You go do that. All right, so Annabelle is back. I finished sending the data from the UB you protected to HQ, and to Miss Wick as well. Thank you for your hard work, Eric. We should unravel the mysteries of Zerkatry, also known as UB Lightning. Okay, cool. Mm. Are you all right, ma'am? Yes, I'm fine, Mr. Looker. I just felt a passing vertigo, but I'm fine. Please do not worry yourself. But I must. I insist on worrying. You have always had the stamina of a Machamp, Chief. I cannot believe this is nothing. No, please. It is nothing so serious. I'm sorry for causing you to worry about me. I insist that I really am fine. Putting all that aside, I must say that we have found a great ally in Eric. What a fantastic trainer. It was all that I could do to simply keep that circuitry away from the town. The UBs seem to get terribly aggressive when they spot me. It's like they're treating me as prey or an enemy. Uh, I am sure it's only your imagination, Chief. You must be exhausted. Um. Oh, uh, myself in. Mr. Nanu. You've been keeping well? You are... Yes, so it's you. 100KR, or... Sorry, what is it now? What is it now? Looker? Yes, it is. What's this? No smile for me. Here I am, coming out of my way to bring you the info about the UB that you're searching for. Are you really? That monster you're calling Blade. It's on Ula Ula Island. I'll tell you more when you get there. And your information? It is all true? I'm the Kahuna of Ula Ula Island. If you don't do something about that monster for me, our Guardian's not going to be happy. Thank you for the information, Mr. Nanu. See you around then. Okay, so it looks like Nanu has information about a blade. Interesting. Mr. Looker. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Looker, do I take it that you are acquainted with Mr. Nanu? I knew him once. I thought. Never mind that. Right now, we need to focus on our mission. Of course. Yes, of course you're right. If we have reports of a new UB sighting, then our mission is our first priority. I will move to Ula Ula Island and prepare our new base in the motel there. Please join us there as soon as you're ready, Eric. I will go to Ula Ula. I trust you will too as well, Eric. The motel in Ula Ula, Ula Island is on Route 13. All right, let's go ahead to Route 13 then. Which is, I believe, near Tapu Village, right? So, let's go. Alright, here we are at Tapu Village. We want to head to Route 13. I'm going to take the uh, Tauros Express. 
That's definitely a trailer park, if not that. And it seems to be blocked off there. I guess we'll check that out later. I don't know. Okay, so next time we're going to go find out what is the deal with that UB blade here on Ula Ula Island. As we go find out from Looker and Annabelle next time here in this Ula Ula Island motel. So the question of the day is... Um... What is your favorite... Um... I don't know. What is your favorite type of evolution... Oh, your favorite form of evolution... Or method of evolution, let's go with. What's your favorite method of, method of evolution? Trading, leveling up, leveling up in a specific place, using an evolutionary stone, happiness, um... The Combi method where it's only female at a certain level. What is your favorite method of evolution? Uh, I mean, for me, I don't even know. The problem I have with, with uh, evolution stones is usually they don't learn as many moves by level up once you evolve them. So it gives you an incentive to hold off on evolving until later on. Versus level up, which I think level up is probably the most convenient if it's not too high like, you know, like Hydreigon. But at the same time... If you don't want your Pokemon to evolve, you have to use Neverstone if, if it's at the level you, it would normally evolve. So, I don't know. Trading is kind of a cool gimmick, but at the same time, you can't always trade with someone to evolve your Pokemon. So, I don't know. Maybe you'll, maybe you like when something when a Pokemon's holding a certain item when either it levels up or trades, or when you trade it. I don't know. Be sure to answer the question today. So, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.